You're welcome to Perfect Glamour Fashion. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make this booboo -boo dress with a beautiful color. First thing to do is to fold your pattern paper into two and from the top, come down by five inches. This is going to serve as your base for the color. So every other measurement you're going to be taking is going to be taken from the five inch mark. So don't miss this step, okay? So come down by five inches and rule your line. When you're done ruling your line, the next thing you're going to be doing is to mark your chest line. For me, mine is nine. So mark your chest line or your armhole length and then mark your waist. And then from your waist, come down by three inches. As we're going to the collar, you're going to see what the three inches is going to be used for. Okay. At some point, I had to increase the length, the three inches mark I did. But as we proceed, you're going to understand everything and it's a very simple color actually don't mind the whole pattern paper drama <laughs> okay all right so after we've marked rules that are aligned the next thing we're going to be doing is to um draft the neck for the back so we are doing both the front and the back in this um pattern piece the front of the collar and the back of the collar in this pattern piece so i marked three and a half by one so when you mark three and a half by one you just um use your cultural lab or your free hand just depends on what you have to uh shape out your back neckline so this is just me ensuring that i get i got the three and a half inch by one this is for your back neckline then you would um divide your shoulder measurement by two and mark you're going to also come down by one inch at that same point and connect to your um, neck width. This is the normal way we do um, basic bodies, right? Okay, both for the front and the back. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is to mark the neck depth for the front. For me, I'm using nine inch. You mark it, you mark the nine inch point or whatever you want to use, depending on how deep it's going to be and connect. Next. At the um, neck width, I'm going to be ruling a straight line upwards. This is going to serve as the base for the collar. I'm using broken lines here. Measure the back neckline to know how many inches it is. For me, it came out to be 4 inches. So measure yours and know what yours is. And then I'm going to be marking 4 inch on that broken line. So mark 1.25 backwards and then connect that points back to the neckline so it's going to form a slanted line okay so this is our new color line and on that line you're going to mark you're going to mark the four inches that we measured for the color for the back color okay so we're going to mark the four inches now on this four inches point we're going to be squaring up the line forward okay we're going to mark 1.75 and i'm using my trajectory to square up this line if you have this use your trajectory to square up the line by following the arrows if you look closely you see what i am doing all right so now that you've done that you're going to connect um the lines back you're going to connect that point back to the neck depth the front neck depth now when we're done doing that we're just going to cut it out and our pattern is almost ready okay what is going to be left is to mark the designs and all of that you see it's actually simple don't mind the whole pattern paper drama okay <laughs> all right so now we are opening up the pattern to start up our designing now this design there is no hard and fast true actually there are so many designs out there online just be creative with it so you're going to be seeing how i'm going to be doing mine this just serve as a guide to you there is no hard and fast shoot to it actually all right i'm just connecting my lines i'm just connecting my lines marking my lines forward so i am going to label the lines also so that it can help us as we are drafting the pattern mark your center okay always mark your center so that you can you would know the difference between the right and the left all right so 
first we're going to be doing on the okay this is the right left dot right now <laughs> okay on the left we're going to be marking 5.5 inches both on the shoulder line and the waist line so we're going to be connecting this way that i'm connecting it and you will connect the lines now from the center also to the right now you're going to mark eight inches on the half length line on the chest line and on the half length okay <clears throat> so when you've marked your eight inches you're going to square up the line but while squaring up my line i saw that this is going to be too short i wanted the design to be more pronounced so i came down again by two inches okay and then i extended the lines i have already made at the left i extended it backwards like downwards okay as you can see in the video i extended the line to meet my initial design line okay so i'm doing the same thing to the right i'm marking my inch eight inches all the way down and then on the design line i am using a curved ruler okay don't mind my ruler <laughs> it's broken and shattered <laughs> but i but it's still good to go so i'm using a curved ruler to just make that curve design down there then i marked two inches on the um, chest line and connected it to the collar our design is done and we're cutting it out now it is time for us to go over to our material so this is me folding my material into four i'm using um just a, a little fabric i had for this tutorial okay so you fold it into four now for the front i'm crossing both the front neckline and the back neckline together so just the way we did the pattern paper we're coming down by five inches this is to form the base of the collar right just the way we did for the pattern paper now on that five inch line you know we came down by five inches remember so every other measurement you're going to be taking is going to be from that five inch line i'm going to mark my chest line plus half inch sewing allowance so now it's nine and a half i'm using no longer half inch um, nine inch so i'm adding half inch sewing allowance to everything i used for my front okay so i've marked my chest line i've marked my hip line so chest line plus half inch sewing allowance and then i'll mark my hip line and i'll square up the lines i'm connecting the lines for my chest line and for my hip line now over to the back neckline this time around i'm going to be using three inches no longer three and a half like we used for the front i'm going to use three inches on the material three inches and you're going to go down by one inch when you measure this it should give you something around three and a half inch so if you have three and a half inch you are on track okay now you're going to divide your hip by four on the hip line now we're going to divide your hip by four and add three inches or four inches depending on how big you want the booboo -boo to be so you're going to mark whatever you get on the hip line you're going to mark it on the waistline you're going to also mark it on your hemline remember booboo -boo dresses usually don't have you know all the shape that other dresses have okay that's why it's booboo -boo dress now on the neck line on the shoulder line you're going to come down by one and a half inch and you're going to connect it to form a new shoulder slope then from that new shoulder slope you come down by 12 inches and on that 12 inch mark you come in by one and half this is how to form normal um booboo uh sleeve right okay now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is to connect the line to our seam line that we already have and then mark half inch to form your one inch sorry to form your curve just the way we do for booboo dresses right now for the front neckline you will come down by nine inches or whatever you you came down by when you were cutting your pattern okay and then you will connect it to the neck width to form your front neckline now i'm bringing in my pattern with this pattern i will lay my pattern flat using rule um pin 
I'll be holding a flat with pin. Just make sure you place it, you place this well because you're going to be adding sewing allowance to this pattern on the material. Okay, so place this well with your pin. Ensure that the neck lines are meeting. The when you place this well, you see that the next the shoulder slope will meet the one the shoulder slope on the pattern will meet the one on the material okay now that i've done that the next thing i'm going to be doing is to add half inch sewing allowance around the pattern i'm using my uh my um tape roll to add half inch sewing allowance around this pattern so now that i've done that i'm going to be using the shoulder slope i'm going to be using is the one on the material okay not this one on the on the pattern piece do you understand that okay now that i'm done doing that i've removed my pattern piece and i've formed my front neckline and my back neckline so in order to cut out the front and the back neckline i will have to separate this but before i separate it i'll cut out the side seam the side line and then the shoulder slope these ones are all featuring both in the front and the back okay <laughs> all right so i will cut that out but i will not cut the neck depths okay just be very careful with this part okay so you don't make a mistake just watch what i'm doing and do exactly what i am doing so before i separate this just watch the things i cut out before separating it and then leave whatever i left why separating it okay now i'm going to separate i'm going to bring out the i'm going to use this part that i marked as my front and then use the part that i didn't mark for my back so i am um i'm redrafting the um, back neckline it's three by one so three by one and i'm using my curve ruler to cover just the way we did it when we were cutting on the other part okay now i'm measuring again to make sure i have my 3.5 inches and we're good to go so i'm going to cut that you see how easy it is to do so just follow what i'm doing and i'm going to get it accurately okay you can go back and watch again just to make sure you get it accurately so we're done for the back and now we are here in front again all right so for the front you're just going to cut out the neck depth the neck depth don't touch the collar <laughs> just cut out the neck there so when we are done doing that we are, our front piece is also ready now it is over to our design i'm using this um sequin fabric for my um design as you can as we all know sequin is very stretchy and all of that so i'm using this paper state to stiffen the fabric okay i'm using to stiffen the fabric i already made this design in another video so you can just i'm going to link this other design um in the description of this video so i'm going to just link it okay it's going to be very it's very easy also to do so guys i discovered that my sequin fabric is smaller than my design so i had to fold it at some points just to make sure it enters okay <laughs> so mark the shoulder line on the on the uh, pattern paper and then notch it on the fabric okay all right now that we are done the next thing we're going to be doing is to be transferring the fabric onto the material so as you can see it's already looking very beautiful yeah so in order to sew this i'm going to be turning flipping this over so that is going to be right side of the design facing the wrong side of the dress you understand that right side of the design facing the wrong side of the dress and then i'm going to be sewing onto i'm going to sew it onto the dress now i'm going to pin in it and then sew it onto the dress now that i've done that i'm going to notch what i have I'm going to notch this, notch this very close to the sewing line, but don't cut your, <laughs> don't cut, many times I've ended up cutting my um, thread, so be very careful not to cut your thread, okay? And then I'm going to top stitch on the fabric. Now that I've done that, I'm going to use um, 
hemming gum to lay the design on the fabric this is a very essential step so that when you are sewing it it's not going to be difficult for you so use your hemming gum to lay put it in strategic places on the design okay cover it up use your iron put um, lay the design on the fabric before you top stitch it makes the work quite easy and simple okay so take me later for that for that hack so if you've enjoyed this video to this extent that means you love the video so give the video a thumbs up and if you're not if you're new to my channel if this is your first time coming across my videos come on guys join the family by subscribing okay subscribe to this channel and be a part of our big family we post videos on sewing tutorials and all of that sewing vlogs and all of that okay now that you, we have successfully laid our fabric we're going to be top stitching okay then when whenever i'm sewing curves i try to notch it first just put little little notches there that will help you as you are you know trying to fold it in fold in the curves it will be very easy for you okay you get something very neat so now i have top stitches you see we're almost done with this dress actually <laughs> so now that i have top stitches you're going to open up the back and you're going to connect this is going to form the color as you can see we have already formed the build up color we formed it already next thing we're going to be doing is to attach the back as simple as that okay so i'm cutting out the excess fabric from the joining i just made to ensure that when i iron it it will lay flat now i'm adding the back now before i add the back i'm going to fold it into two get the center point and um, notch it so i'm going to notch it this is for it to be easy for me to know where to attach it to okay i'm going to add the i'm going to let the notched part meets the joining at the back okay and then i'm going to connect as simple as that next thing i'm going to do is to i folded in extra sequin material to form my sleeve this is actually very simple to do, to do just cut a strip of material sew it to the back and then turn it over to the front and then this sleeve is ready actually so the next thing to do is just to iron 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 okay once you're done ironing you fold the hemline and your dress is ready you hope this story was helpful i'll be in the comment section to answer all your questions